Good morning, brothers and sisters in America and all over the world. Welcome to our morning devotion. To start off our day, let us offer a bow to our heavenly parents and true parents. Chanjin, Champu, Nimke, Kimbe. Hello. Now I'd like to invite Reverend Milhan for our family pledge. Kajang Meng Se, Il. 자녀극 주인 우리 가정은 참 사랑을 중심하고 본향 땅을 찾아 본연의 창조 이상인 지상 천국과 천상 천국을 창건할 것을 맹세하나이다. 이 자녀극 주인 우리 가정은 참 사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님과 참 부모님을 모시어 천주의 대표적 가정이 되며 중심적 가정이 되어 가정에서는 효자, 국가에서는 중심, 세계에서는 성인, 천주에서는 성자의 가정의 도리를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 3. 자녀극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 4대 심정권과 3대 왕권과 광족권을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 4. 자녀극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님의 창조의 상인 천주대 가족을 형성하여 자유와 평화와 통일과 행복의 세계를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 5. 자녀극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 매일 주체적 천상 세계와 대상적 지상 세계의 통일을 향해 전진적 발전을 촉진화할 것을 맹세하나이다. 6. 자녀극 주인, 우리 가정은 참 사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님과 참 부모님의 대신 가정으로서 천운을 움직이는 가정이 되어 하늘의 축복을 주변에 연결시키는 가정을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 7. 자녀극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 본연의 혈통과 연결된 위하는 생활을 통하여 심장문화 세계를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 8. 자녀극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 자녀극 시대를 맞이하여 절대 신앙, 절대 사랑, 절대 복종으로 신인의 일체 이상을 이루어 지상 천국과 천상 천국의 해방권과 석방권을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. Thank you so much, Reverend Milhan. And now for our opening prayer, I'd like to invite Mrs. Joyce Anderson. Please unmute yourself. Good morning, family. Can you hear me? Yes. Let us pray together. Our dearest and beloved heavenly parents, we are so grateful to be alive on this day that you took the time to blow the breath of life into our lungs this morning. We are so grateful for this touch of your love. We are so grateful as you walk this earth today that you thought about us and that you yourself desired to wake us that we can walk in your will today. This is a great, great blessing. This is a great, great opportunity that we can walk today through this golden age and serve you. This is our heart's desire. I can say this clearly without thought this is our heart's desire for each and every son and daughter that is on this line this morning. We want to walk in your will as your 
children who know your heart, who knows your wishes, who wants to comfort you, Father, as you step out on every corner of this planet. We want to honor you and serve you with all the life we have in these bodies. We want to truly, truly be yours, be totally yours, where we can really, really, really touch each other that is around us, wherever we plant our feet, we want to touch each life just like you, Father, with love and with truth and with service and with goodness, with a total heart, a total heart to support our true parents, to support our true mother at this time, the only begotten daughter on this planet, the queen, I call her the queen of love, the queen of love. Father, we know that she is so connected to your heart because she understands that the 7.8 billion people on this planet you are concerned about. You are there. You feel everything. You see everything. And you have the answer. I pray this morning, Father, that your children, Father, will call out your name. And not only call out your name when they're in trouble, but really have a desire for you to come into their lives. Precious Heavenly Parent, we we desire to proclaim America as your land. Thank you so very much this morning for Dr. Young, who has come to open up the deeper book and understanding of our true father's words, because our true father has been speaking these words all along, but we couldn't hear and we couldn't see and we couldn't feel. So we thank you for your perfect timing, for bringing Opa Young, Father, to stand in that position as our, as our heavenly elder, Papa and brother. Thank you so very much, heavenly parents. We are once again, so grateful to be alive. And we ask that your love would just spread, Father, in this movement for all our brothers and sisters here and all those that are not here and all of the families, Father, that are in this movement, determined to go forward to build your kingdom on the earth. I offer this prayer in the name of all blessed central families, in the name of each person represented here. Adieu. Uh, Aju, Aju. Wow. Thank you so much, Joyce and Anderson. Your prayer is so powerful. You are like a unificationist evangelist. So powerful, so much convincing. Wow. Thank you so much for your powerful prayer. Thank you so much, uh, Joyce, for that powerful prayer. And um, <clears throat> excuse me, bringing really this kind of artistic um, joy uh, by starting morning devotion today. So brothers and sisters, now it's time to go into our breakout rooms and share our gratitudes for today. So I hope that you can enjoy your breakout rooms.
Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for taking this time to share in your breakout rooms and start this day with a lot, a lot of gratitude. Um, and for our first sharing today, I'd like to invite Sangmu Bornman. Sangmu san, please unmute yourself and share with us. Hey, <laughs> 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 I'm so grateful for Heavenly Parent, True Parent, and um, Jesus. Um, I'm so grateful for Invisible Heavenly Parent, uh, always with me, and I can see everywhere when I go. So I'm so grateful because uh, true mother leadership and then Reverend Young raised us, bring the heavenly parent, true father, true mother spirit, my home, my heart, <laughs> <laughs> especially second generation, mm. so young, but all the even senior uh, pressing couples stand up and we have only hope. Mm. So I'm so grateful for, for mm. morning devotion every day. Mm. Already eight, eight time and mm. incredible condition. So I'm so grateful and mm. all the yeah. second generation leadership. Mm. They are so yeah. humbly working so hard. Mm -hmm. I'm so appreciative. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I love you, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Whenever I see Sangmu, Sangmu Gonsan in face, I'm so happy. You are Sangmu born man or born woman? Born oh. man or born woman? Born man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. Mm. <laughs> Why? <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> thank you so much, Sangmu san, for sharing. Uh, for our next sharing, I'd like to invite Mrs. Noriko Tenepre to share. Hi, good morning, everybody. Oh, what what a what a lucky girl you are. Yeah, well, yesterday also I was sharing my testimony in the during the um tribe net. Also this morning and I break out the room, I stay with Dr. Johan the Miru Heights amazing. I don't know what. So then today to my appreciation to yeah, yesterday that my sharing testimony. So then I just followed the Dr. Young's direction. I just followed the online holy community and then attended my everyday morning devotion. But through this, I always I don't know why. I always speaking the front of the people, then I was also very nervous. I not used to it that I was still pumping my heart. <laughs> I'm nervous, but God's guiding me to practice in, the, in front of the people. Uh, so then I appreciate all Dr. Yon always said to me, I love your smile. That's my smile. It's my kind of my job to give you a joyful to speak it to your smile. Yeah, that's the idea. Like that's my my what's the great uh, great gift from God. I think. Yeah, I'm every time I I'm appreciate Dr. Yon. Thank you so much. Without Thank you, you Doriko Sang. I really love your smile and always very positive and working very hard. And then you take care of your children very well. Also, you love your husband, even though sometimes you don't like him. <laughs> I really, I really love you. Thank you, your appreciation. Thank you, Noriko-san, for sharing with us this morning and for your beautiful smile. And now, brothers and sisters, it is time to welcome our Dr. Chong Shik Young for internal guidance. Mm -hmm. Hello. Annyeonghaseyo. Good morning, good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, and clergy and ambassador for peace. 안녕하십니까? Just now I saw the our Noriko Sang's smile today. I already got a happiness already. Sangmugon Sanin, thank you for your beautiful smiling. 
Yeah, yesterday um, I had a meeting with the Filipino ethnic group and uh, I had a beautiful discussion with them. They are, they really, they are really great people. They have a really, really strong commitment for the event in December when mother come to America. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about the turn passion into purpose, purpose into principles. I'd like to invite Heavenly Honey, please read. Each new generation endures heartache. Sometimes young people compare themselves to others and lament their status. A desire to give up may pop into their heads and rather than looking within, they may feel like blaming others or the world they live in. The more difficult our situation, however, the more we have to remember our original dream. Especially in our younger years, we face countless temptations, endless concerns, and unbounded desires. The only way to manage these is to have a strong will. And this means having clearly defined objectives. The years of our youth are the best time to dedicate ourselves to exciting goals that make our hearts beat faster. Since our youth is brief, it is important to do this without delay. We don't want to be left in regret. We need to set good goals and know who to partner with to achieve them. If we do not live vigorously and create our own path, we will end up sinking into despair and envy. Thank you, Heavenly Honey. Now your voice is recovering. I'm so happy. Uh, from Mother said, especially in our younger years, we face countless temptations, endless concerns, and unbounded desires. The only way to manage these is to have a strong will and this means having clearly defined objectives, then how can we have a strong will? That is the issue. Young people, father said, you need to have a strong will when you are young. Is to have a vision centered on God. The important thing in my use is to set a vision for my life. The Bible says that people without a vision will perish. According to true father's words for second generation children of this age who lead a normal life of faith, between the ages of 16 and 24, God will surely give that person a vision of what to do for the sake of his will. That's why you are, your life is like a, your life of faith is really normal. And then really you love God and love true parents. You love God's will. Then God definitely will show you what to do for your entire life. But you are very much horizontal. You don't have faith. Then you cannot see your future. Even though God already have a clear plan, but you do not catch his plan. That is the problem. God is not a vague God, as you know. When dealing with each individual, God has a specific plan. God has a blueprint about me, about you, and then to any human being. You need to understand, God is not a vague God. God is really in detail. He loves each one of the human being, each one of his own children. That's why he has a clear blueprint about me, about you, to each one of the human being. We need to know this point very clearly. True Mother said, the years of our youth are the best time to dedicate ourselves 
to exciting goals that make our hearts beat faster. Since our use is brief, it is important to do this without delay. The most important thing in use is to have a vision that beats in your heart for the will of God. You need to live with such a vision that you will not be ashamed even if you give your life gener generously. Therefore, we don't want to be we don't, we don't want to be left in regret. We need to set good goals and know who to a partner with to achieve them. If we don't we if we don't live vigorously and create our own path, we, uh, we will end up sinking into despair and envy. Mother said. A person who has clearly established his will and vision for God and the world in his youth will never be uh, pessimistic and about life or become addicted for free sex, drugs, or alcohol, etc. For the most part, people who are addicted to free sex and drugs and alcohol have no vision. No vision. Therefore, the first generation, especially leadership, should instill in the growing generation a vision to dedicate their lives to the will of God. That's why as a teacher, as a parent, as a senior generation, one of the most important job to the, our second generation, our younger generation, our youth people, how can we provide a vision? How let them find the God's vision and God's blueprint and then their strong determination? What can I do for the sake of the God's will during my life? This is the point. Okay, continue. Some young people complain that adults tell them to work harder without giving them credit for the effort they are already making. Some become pessimistic, feeling that no matter how hard they try, they can't get ahead and that society is at fault. But they need to take an honest look at how much effort they have actually made. Complaint and distrust will not get us far. Young people need to follow a virtuous path of sacrifice, service, and love. Youth by Samuel, Samuel Ullman is one of my favorite poems. I like the passage, youth is not a time of life, it is a state of mind. With a purpose-driven heart, anyone, regardless of age, can live a fresh life with youthful passion. As my husband and I traveled throughout Korea and the world, we were deeply saddened to see young people buried in a bleak reality, giving up on their dreams and wandering aimlessly without goals. We saw others who were setting lofty goals but could not accomplish them by themselves. Out of concern for this, in 1993, I went on a speaking tour to guide Korean students at more than 40 Korean universities. It was a long and challenging tour that took me to virtually all the universities in Korea. In several instances, students of differing religious or ideological persuasions opposed my coming and sought to turn me away at the gate. But I persevered. And in the end, I spoke at all the universities. Thank you. Mother said, complain and distress will not get us far. Young people need to follow a virtuous path of sacrifice and service and love. I have never seen a young man, this is my, okay, this is my testimony. I have never seen a young man who is growing up to become a great figure and devote himself to the cause of a person who blames his parents. 
his society, his able, his country, his ancestors. Those who are complaining as a young guy and blaming my father, blaming my mother, blaming society, blaming the nation, blaming the central figure, blaming headquarters, blaming somebody. I think this kind of category young people I am telling you, they never grow up. And they cannot be great central figure in the future. And then those who are really take responsibility, even though you see someone's fault and problem and digest it and take responsibility, this kind of person is really can be a really great person for the secular nation and world. True mother say, used by uh, Shem, uh, uh, Samuel Ullman is one of my favorite poems. I like the passage. Use is not a time of life. It is a state of mind. With a purpose-driven heart, anyone regardless of age can live a fresh life with useful passion. My dear brothers and sisters, who is young, how the age determines whether a person is young or not, is not. It is determined by passion and dreams. No matter how young a person is, if he does not have a passion and dreams in his heart, he is an old man. No matter how old you are, if you have passion and dreams, you are still very, very young. Therefore, a person without a dream dies quickly. However, people who have dreams live long because they make effort and sacrifices to make their dreams come true. You know, this is really very important. Uh, you know, those who have passion and dream and enthusiasm, you know, can make your life alive all the time. I mention it here again, but from my youth uh, until now, I live with the following seven things as my motto, and be, and then I share in Asia very often as the as the motto, uh, seven great motto of the Chinese citizens. I'd like to repeat again, but I love it. I repeat very very often in my heart mind and then uh, throughout my daily life. Always I, am, I, I brainwash it to myself every day. What, the, what are the seven great motors of uh, Chan Yilguk citizens? Number one, it comes through as we think about it. This is a very important point. Father said, if you don't think about things, nothing will happen. God does not take on interest in what you don't take on interest in. Before Heavenly Father creates human beings and all things, he thinks about all things and human beings. Without thinking, nothing happens. Everything begins from thinking. Thinking is important thinking. Everything begins from thinking. There is no thinking, nothing happened. There is no thinking about the creation of human being, no appear. When I create, when I, when I uh, the build uh, the college in the Philippines, I think about it how many times. And then I already believe in myself. Whenever I think something continuously become prayer, it comes through as I think about it. Always, that's why thinking is a prayer. Thinking is a beginning. Thinking is a starting. Thinking is important, centering on God's point of view, centering on public point of view. That's why this, whenever I think about this way, I always, I, I have a conviction to my own self. As much I think about it, 
and become my prayer, become my jong song, someday will come true. That's why it comes true as we think about it. We never think about 144,000 chanbo. If we do not think, never come true. We never think about chanbo in America, never come true. It begins from thinking. Thinking is a prayer. If you don't think about anything and don't offer devotion, Satan will take the chance to invade you. Father said, I am thinking man. I am thinking man. <sighs> Always thinking. Thinking become prayer. That's why I'd like to remind you, my brothers and sisters, it comes through as we think about it. Every morning, every day, I pray centering on national seven goal or eight goal and other goals, thinking morning devotion, how to improve, how to achieve 144,000, and how to build 1,000 about the churches everywhere, how to raising up, you know, 30,000 about the blessing candidate, you know, day and night thinking. It comes through as we think about it. Secondly, it comes through as we dream. God has a dream. God has a blueprint. That's why the Bible said when there is no vision, people perish. Definitely no vision. Why young people hanging around here and there? Why take drug and drink alcohol? And then really possess the by games. Do you know what the main reason? The main reason they don't have a dream. If they if they have a dream, they overcome any difficulties, like you know, or how to say, uh, you know, that kind of passion and dream. Wow, young persons uh, about that uh, property is a dream. You need to have a dream where there is no vision, people perish. God must have the blueprint for me. That's why, what is God's blueprint for me? I need to catch up. I need to know what is his plan for me. He's a creator. And his purpose of creation should be my purpose of the, my, my, my life. What is my blue, what is God's blueprint? His blueprint should be my blueprint. It comes through as we believe. Many Christian people, religious people thinking about as much I as much as as much as I believe in it, surely will come through. There is no doubt. I surely will do it without doubt. It comes through as we believe. It comes through as we offer prayer and jong song. Wow, I really absolutely believe. That's why my father, through father's slogan is almost sincerity moves heaven. Nobody will jong song. Nobody will prayer and devotion. That's why it comes through as we offer prayer and devotion. Almost the sincerity moves heaven. Almost the sincerity moves even heavenly father's chair. Wow. Oh, wow. Who is praying like this? God needs to give answer. Your prayer can reach it to heaven. Even God, no choice to help you. I really believe in that. It comes through as we offer prayer and jong song. We are doing national level jong song, continental level jong song, all together, unite together with the affiliated organization, putting together. We can overcome any trial, any challenges, any goal. Wow, this is the power of jong song. Power of jong song. 
That's why when I set up the goal and I put in my jong song, I always feel that it comes through as we offer prayer and devotion. Number five, it comes through as we declare. And when I set up the goal, I find the blueprint, and I have a dream, and then I declare in front of the everybody. And then become public dream, public goal. When Heavenly Father has his blueprint, and he declare day first, day second, day third, whenever he declare, everything came through. I utilize this message. And our true parents always declare, God's day, true parents day, the day of all things. No, at the era of the channel boom, he always declare and then become public, become more serious and then become more dedicating. That's why do you want to achieve your goal? Always declare and proclaim it comes through as you declare. Number six, it comes through as we prepare. Those who do not prepare feel a uh, will flow away, just disappear. That's why your setting up goal is good and you are doing Jung Song is good. But the important thing is for, for your goal and vision. How much are you seriously prepared? Preparation is everything, actually. Preparation, almost 90%. The actual time of the practice is very, very limited. Very, you know, for example, mothers are coming even they just only one day. For even one day, how many months, date, and time we invest? Preparation. Preparation is important. It comes through as we prepare. Last one. It comes through as we take action. If you don't do Jung Song, have a dream and believe and declaration, preparation, but you do not take action, nothing happens. It comes through as we take action. That's why listening, morning devotion, you are very inspired. Sometimes listening from Sunday service, of US, so reading God's word, but you not to not take action. Never visit to Christian church. Never witness, never get out. Just 365 days listening, 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 morning devotion, Sunday service. How many hours, how many days spend your time and then take action? No action? No meaning. That's why I need to stand up, get out from home, and visit the church, meet the people. Then your dream will come through. It comes through as we take action. This last part is a very, very important part. So I'd like to remind our young brothers and sisters, this is seven goal, okay? This seven goal is very important. First one, what is that? It comes through as we think about it. Secondly, it comes through as we dream. Thirdly, it comes through as we believe. And then number four, it comes through as we offer prayer and devotion. Number five, it comes through as we declare. Number six, it comes through as we prepare. Number seven, it comes through as we take action. I think today morning devotion already enough this much. Today is uh, Father's word. God is searching for a person who can resolve his bitter heart of 6,000 years. I'd like to invite Heavenly Honey again. God is searching for a person who can resolve his bitter heart of 6,000 years. Just as the duty of a patriot is to get rid of the king's concerns God requires a patriot who can do so for him. What is the point of performing miracles? What is the point of giving mercy? They are all qualities which belong to God. 
The only thing that God does not have is the person who can resolve the resentment in his heart. There's no one to resolve 6,000 years of bitter heart. There's no one to resolve 6,000 years of resentment. There is no one to remove the nail of sorrow driven in God's heart due to the fall of Adam. There is no one who holds on to God, shedding tears and saying, God, how did it come to this? Therefore, a person must appear to remove the nail, which Adam could not remove. He will need to rectify and restore the individual, the family, tribe, race, nation, and world, and offer it to God and true parents. Oh, Heavenly Honey, thank you so much for your great effort, even though you are sick. And throughout the history, there have been many loyal subjects, profess, patriot, patriotic, uh, you know, and morals, and divine saints and sages. There have also have been uh, also be, uh, been many merciful people who lived for the sake of others. There have been uh, martyrs and those who die in the place of others. However, there has been no one who could liberate God from his bitter heart. Why has no one been no one uh, been able to liberate God's bitter heart first. It is because they did not know the cause of the human fall. Second, they did not understand God's sorrow toward the fall. Nor did they understand the sacrifice God made for the blood and sweat and bitter tears God shed in order to bring about the providence and human salvation. 6,000 years have already passed, passed since the fall. For 6,000 years, God has searched for that one person who could be his object partner. The person is the Messiah. The father lay down his entire life to liberate God of his pitiable, bitter heart. Now father is in spiritual world and mother now is only on earth alone. Who will liberate God from his bitter heart now? We must become one with the true mother. And then, you know, carve away God's bitter heart, who will plow the nail driven into God's heart by the fall. Can you imagine since Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve in, his, in, in his heart and a strong nail? Can you imagine about that? Then who will plow the nail driven, driven into God's heart? by the fall. There has been no one who clung to God of soul, felt his pain and shed tears for him. Only filial children who understand God's sorrowful heart and can solve this problem. You know, every day I'm walking and then go to the Hudson River from the New York Hotel to Hudson River side. And then walk, there are many people every day exercising. I can see some beautiful river and ocean there. And then I am really seriously thinking about it. Even though there are 7.8 billion people, how many of them thinking about God? Furthermore, how many people really determined to liberate God to heart? He just sort of even though someone know God's will, even though some even even someone know need to establish God's channel on the earth, who really can liberate God's inner bitter heart? How many? 
just handful of people. Handful of people. Can you think of, can you imagine that? 6,000 years, even though they become God's servant, God's adopted son, and visionary, and martyrs, but no one focus on how to liberate God's heart. Who can liberate God's heart? Only filial sons and daughters. That's why we have to become filial sons and daughters. I can see through mother tears very often. She's crying, you know, to liberate God's heart. That's why if we, we are really filial sons and daughters, do not forget God's sorrowful heart. This is a really important point. That's why Father saying that God is searching for a person who can resolve his bitter heart of 6,000 years. Today's youth ministry, our attitude in fulfilling God's commands. You know, when we receive a, a comment from true parents, we should accept it joyfully. You know, whenever we, whenever, whenever a true parents give us the comment and certain order, our attitude is very important. I accept it joyfully and happily. You know, I often mention of the, of the, the blind man in the Bible, right? When the blind man in the Bible received the Jesus command to go to the pool of Silo Arm and watch his eyes, he hurriedly obeyed and ran to the edge of the water that he did not even like. In the same way, we need to joyfully obey for our eyes to open. When the blind man and happily, joyfully receive the Jesus order, Jesus command. You go to the pool and wash your eyes, and then surely open your eyes. You know, any blind man, they're really scared to go to the poolside, right? But this man, this blind man, already spiritually know who is Jesus, spiritually communicate with Jesus accept Jesus' order and happily go to the poolside, Siloam, and wash his eyes and then open his eyes. We will not be able to see if we just complain or feel reason fulfilling. That's why fallen men's, you know, major is what? Always complain. Able order something, God order something, we difficult to accept happily or willingly. Most of us, including me, just do it by duty and responsibility with unwillingness. This is the problem. But we can learn through this blind man. <laughs> he just really patient and happily receive Jesus' order. And then go to the, the pool of the silo arm and wash his eyes, and then miracle happen. That is our attitude to fulfilling God's command. When, when we, 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 we have practiced our life of faith until now, but our eyes are still closed. That's why I cannot see God, cannot feel God, cannot meet good ancestors, cannot see them. I cannot see people's suffering. Therefore, God is giving us a new command, you know, to teach us how to open our, our eyes. If we had to practice our faith like the blind man, we must now joyfully obey through parents' command and wash our eyes at Siloam. The pool of Siloam was the place the blind man hated the most. But in the same way, going out on the front lines is not the easiest thing for us to do. However, if we obey the com uh, command and continue to obey in our mission areas, 
our spiritual eyes surely will be opened. The divine principle say that, that when given receive action takes place between an object partner and subject partner, the result is strength, light, and joy. That's why when I give and take action very well with the law, with the true parents, then great things will be happen. The result is strength, light, and joy. No, however, to not give and give and receive action well, nothing takes place. Nothing happens. That's why our heart, even though not easy situation, how can we willingly, happily accept it and then participate it and listen it and then take action? This is our attitude in fulfilling God's commands. John chapter 9, verse 4 to 5, we must walk the walks of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when no one can walk. As long as I am in the world, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Now, true mother on the earth, true mother is the light of the world. As long as we are walking with the mother, we are the light of the world. Those who do not know how to live, live in the dark night. And those who are obey the command, live in the day. Thus, we should be happy to receive true parents' command and obey. Then we will find strength and become light and joy. During this age of receiving uh, and fulfilling true parents' comment, it is a daytime for God. True mother has issued a command. She commanded that everyone must participate in seven, uh, uh, seven uh, years course and registered in Chanbo one. This is a mother's strong recommendation and command not just only fulfilling, you know, about having a tribal messiah, messiah mission, registering uh, in Chonbo means what? You need to be a man of true love. You need to be a woman of true love. You have to be a filial sons and daughters. You need to upgrade your level of true love. Not just only external responsibility. You surely need to be man of true love. That's why true mother saying that external responsibility, registration, even in Chanbo one, but internally, you can be a really great filial sons and daughters through upgrading your level of true love. If we joyfully obey true parents' command, it is the same as uh, washing our eyes at the pool of Silo arm. If we joyfully obey, we will open our eyes like the blind man. When God gives us a comment, he's trying to re uh, revive us. He's trying to help us grow. Why haven't if parents and true parents are my able to give me, give me such a comment? Make us to revive, make us to grow, that's why. We need to accept happily, joyfully, voluntarily. That is our attitude in fulfilling God's commands. A person's eyes go blind because he is centered on himself, his own thoughts, and his own circumstances. However, we can cure our uh, uh, that blindness if we live according to the Lord's commands. If we live according to the Lord, God can take the lead and intervene in our lives. But if we live according to the ourselves, we will live the life of blind man in the world of night. Our unification movement has reached the stage at which we, as each members, must open our eyes 
we have recovered our hand, hands and feet and our body. Now all we need to open our eyes. Does, our, uh, uh, does anyone who fulfill heaven's command will have the opportunity to receive the heavenly fortune of sight? Few days ago, we saw, we attended, we participated the rally of hope. You can see through mother's work. Already time has come. Already time has come, you know, to make such a foundation. How much heavenly parents pay the indemnity? How much put effort? How much sacrifice? Now our portion of responsibility become more lesser and lesser and lesser. We just go on behalf of God and then deny ourselves. Surely now is God working through us. And when we go to go to front line, already different time has come. Different situation already. Different environment. Different background. Different dimension. That's why we need to be bold, convey God's message. My brothers and sisters, really times are now different. If we, with this kind of confidence and with realizing time is different, and then go to front line, open our eyes like a blind man, open our spiritual eyes. Wow, great time has come. And then we can gain incredible joy and happiness. Whenever we receive the God's comment and true parents' comment, need to accept it joyfully, happily, voluntarily. This is our attitude in fulfilling God's comments. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Young, for today's guidance, for really teaching us to use our vision and connect it with God's vision, and also really um, having this attitude for fulfilling God's command, um, really centered on faith and true love. Thank you so much. Uh, and brothers and sisters, now that we've received this internal guidance, please let us go into our breakout room and share with our brothers and sisters and opening up our hearts. Thank you.
Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for sharing uh, with your brothers and sisters and really opening up your hearts in your breakout rooms. So for our first sharing, I'd like to invite the Hartford couple, Hartford couple to share with us this morning. Uh, good morning, Diane. Good morning, Dr. Young. Hey, Jack, Reverend Jack, Kyoko san also. Yeah. So happy to see your couple. Yes, uh, we miss you. Go yeah, ahead, Kyoko san. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Um, yeah, I think, um, I don't know if it's my blueprint or not, but already we are given by the, you know, it's already blueprint. So I need just uh, need action. <laughs> That's <laughs> I feel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you. Sam. I really want to see your smile face again very soon. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, Jack. Yeah, uh, good morning. Uh, I, telling Diane, I was thinking about yesterday, you were saying uh, uh, we have to uh, make a hobby out of what we dislike. <laughs> uh, and uh, actually, some days, I really dislike listening to Dr. Young's uh, message because <laughs> it's uh, so judgment, judging my heart, you know, changing my heart. Mm. But uh, <clears throat> I realize that, uh, yeah, you know, this whole idea of uh, blueprint, uh, I maybe I still maybe am trying to figure out what is my my blueprint. Mm. I think uh, what we need is maybe we need a uh, finding your blueprint workshop for young people. Mm. And um, I I experienced uh, the Wiser Coaching Program, and uh, in that program, there's some trying to find what is your strength, what is your superpower, what oh, what yeah. is uh, God's vision for you, but something like that, incorporating that into uh, you know, uh, our education for young people, if they find their blueprint, I, d I don't see many young people around my state or even my own children that really understand their blueprint or have a clear vision. Yeah. So uh, I think that's our challenge as leaders and um, brothers and sisters. How do we, how do we help people find and understand what their blueprint is? So, mm. yeah, thank you. You still dislike my, my morning devotion? Mm -hmm. Only overcoming? I'm overcoming. I'm trying to overcome. <laughs> I love you. It's it's my hobby. I I want to make it my <laughs> joyful hobby. Oh, it's, thank you, thank you, Reverend Jack. You already overcoming. Great. <laughs> so those who struggling Korean leadership, that is a, if you dislike Korean leadership, that is a, your homework to overcome. Oh. Yeah, it's, so. it's not it's not Korean. It's just you. You're, you're so deep, you know. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for a couple of sharing, um, and for overcoming your struggles as well, of uh, Dr. Young. But thank you so much. And so for our next sharing, I like to invite Tamana Ishibashi to share with us. Hi, good morning. Um, oh, Tamana-san. Hi, uh, good morning. Uh, I think uh, the quote, God is searching for a person who can resolve his bitter heart of 6,000 years, mm. uh, very impactful for me. And I think like reading the the whole Hundu K portion, mm. um, yeah, I really felt like uh, it was like trying to tell me that I wanted to be the person to remove the nail, right? Remove the nail of sorrow driven in God's heart. Um, mm. But when I was thinking about it, I was like, true parents um, are always going to be the first and foremost people who have that heart and have that desire to really liberate God's heart. And I think the best I can do um, is to really support those people, mm. or true parents who are trying so hard and who have um, the biggest heart to really 
um, liberate God's heart and liberate God's pain of 6,000 years. Mm. And then from there, you're talking about how Mother wants everyone to be active and participate in the second seven-year course. Mm. Um, and yeah, it really made me think, um, you know, how can I um, support True Mother while she's here on Earth, who's trying to liberate God's heart, trying to bring happiness and carry on the burden um, for true parent for a true father and who's in heaven and also um, for God as well how mm. can I like cultivate my heart but also um, move with that heart to really help mm. mother mm. help liberate God and his heart mm. of 6,000 years how can I help the person who's trying to remove the nail from God's heart um, and of course it's very inspirational but really also trying to think um, what, what can I do substantially um, for True Mother during the next seven years? And what can I offer to True Mother um, next seven thousand? Oh, sorry, next seven years um, mm. to help her with her mission, help her mm. with her goal, mm. and then also unite and inherit that heart that she has for um, her parents. Mm. Uh, but yeah, thank you again so uh, much. Like the- Amana, I feel after hearing your your reflection, I feel your your attitude already. You are filial daughter you are very you know person very internal you already feel something you know catch liberation through my mother's vision and heart wow our tamana i am really moved by your you know sharing thank you thank you, Dr. Yang. Thank you so much thank you tamana for sharing and for having your heart just by sharing i can really feel how calm you are. (laughs) Your heart is very centered. Thank you for that. And brothers and sisters, as we had our internal guidance, please let us attend every day and really try to have this kind of joyful heart of attending, not just out of duty, but out of really concern and really love for our heavenly parents and true parents. And also, as always, we have the link in the chat for our donation. Please feel, feel free to donate anything you Ken. And for our musical offering, we have Mr. Otmar. Oh, Otmar, yeah. Mm. Sorry, I don't know how to say your last name, but yes. Please share with us. Mr. Otmar, is he here? Good morning, everybody. Good morning, oh, morning. Dr. Young. Wow. Oh, I can hear you, but I cannot see your face now. You cannot see your face, my face? Oh, yeah. Where is it? Where are you now? Okay, okay. okay. Wow, beautiful on my couple. Wow, thank you so much. Good morning. Wow, I just, I'm seeing your couple together. This is giving me incredible joy and happiness because seldom, seldom sit down together. But you give me incredible joy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Beautiful unity and harmony. <laughs> we're trying. We're trying. Yeah. This morning we want to open our eyes. We want to put a little love in our heart and joyfully fulfill our responsibilities. Yay! As, as, uh, um, as two sons and daughters as filial sons and daughters. Put a little love in your heart. (sighs) Think of your fellow men, lend them a helping hand. Put a little love in your heart. You see it's getting late, oh please don't hesitate. Put a little love in your heart. And the world
Wow, what a great performance, Onma and Enmori. I love Enmori's singing and voice. Thank you. Not just Onma's great voice. Enmori, I, I have a favor of you today. Please give a kiss to your husband. Okay. <laughs> wow, thank you, Enmori. I love you. Thank you, your couple. Beautiful harmony. Kamsamnida. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for sharing that beautiful song. Your harmonies are crazy. It's amazing. I hope my husband and I can sing as well as you can <laughs> sing. <laughs> <laughs> that we're able to really such have like this kind of atmosphere is so lovely. Thank you so much for sharing with us. And for our closing prayer today, I'd like to invite Shogo Nakaza to offer a prayer. Okay, please join me in prayer. Our dearest, most beloved heavenly parent, our victorious true parents of heaven, earth, and humankind. Good morning. We just want to say thank you so much, and we love you so, so much, Heavenly Parent, that because of you, Heavenly Parent, that we have the opportunity to wake up, breathe, receive life, and Heavenly Parent, receive your word and love. And so, Heavenly Parent, that throughout today, we have an opportunity to experience your love in so many different ways, but through all the different challenges and joyful moments as well. And Heavenly Parent, so we want to take Dr. Young's message today about really what we need to be able to really bring our vision into reality, Heavenly Parent, to be able to really respond to your heart and Heavenly Parent, to be able to really move forward, Heavenly Parent, desperately towards the goal that you have set for us, Heavenly Parent, the blueprint that you've laid out before us. So, Heavenly Parent, that we can look at that not as a thing that we have to do as a responsibility, but Heavenly Parent, something that we want to do because we love you as much as you love us. It's a Heavenly Parent that Mother is working so hard, Heavenly Parent. Our leaders here, Dr. Young, is working so hard every single day to bring that into reality. It's a Heavenly Parent, let us think constantly what we can do, what we can offer. Heavenly Parent, what, what is my responsibility in such an important time right now? Heavenly Parent, that you've given something for every single person be, to be able to do and fulfill. Because Heavenly Parent, you love us that much and you want us to be incredible people to make an incredible offering, Heavenly Parent. So thank you. And we want we determine that today, we declare that today will be a victorious day in Heavenly Parent, that we will make you proud in Heavenly Parent. We will take one more step towards removing that nail from your heart in Heavenly Parent, putting a smile on your face. So Heavenly Parent, I hope that you can resonate with and feel how much every single person here and even the people who aren't able to be here, how much we all love you and Heavenly Parent, how much we all want to be able to be with you. So thank you so much. We want to pray for Mother and her health and we pray for all of our leadership here to be able to really, to be able to have a victorious day today. So thank you so much. We love you. So I pray this in my name, Shogun Akaza Sana Koki, and Akaza Marlin, all our names gathered here. Aju. Aju. Thank you, Shogun Nakaza, for your very powerful prayer. Kamsamida. Thank you so much, so much. Shogo, uh, for your prayer. And now, brothers and sisters, it's time to end our morning devotion for today. We really hope with today's internal guidance, we can, you know, end this day with thinking about our vision and really centering it on God and really being able to know what our dreams and what God has in store for us. So thank you for joining and we'll see you tomorrow. Mm. Thank you. Have a nice day, my dear brothers and sisters. Thank you, Dr. Young. Thank you, Dr. Sister. Thank you, Dr. 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 Thank you